So I can still remember like Hamza who was a self improvement and all that stuff, right? Um, then he kind of switched from going to like full monk mode to I don't know, Donald's protocol. I th- I think that's what he calls it. Um, then I noticed a difference, like an immediate difference, within a day. In like the self improvement space, right? So Hamza was first preaching like monk mode and all that stuff, and everybody was preaching that as well. And then Hamza switched to like, oh yeah, you should live your life more, you should go out more, all that stuff. Um, even though I kind of agree with the message, it's like every single person, every single self improvement YouTuber, every single like person that's trying to be an authority figure, they told their followers to do the exact same <laughs> but it was in a fucking day so it's like yeah so first they were like all, all monk mode and all that stuff but then Hamza switched to the social life and all that stuff and now they switched to the social life as well and they preached to their the, the exact same to their followers now i do understand that like your mindset it could be shift your paradigm could be shift all that stuff i understand but I don't think that you should you should see yourself as an authority figure if you don't even practice what you preach because you to be honest bro you can't you can't practice being social in like a fucking day no it takes time you need to see the long term benefits you need to do it for at least like a couple of weeks before you actually practice like oh yeah you should go out more you should talk to more girls you should go to more parties and all that stuff because if you see my my a little bit of my channel, I always tell like stories and all that stuff of things that I experienced, which caused me to have the paradigm that I I kind of created. If that makes sense, so I don't know like what's another word for paradigm? Like just the mindset you have. If so, the thing is like I don't I would never look at. A video because I've done this, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Of course, I've I've like done this. Like, if you go to my YouTube channel, like ten months ago, I was like, I was saying like, oh yeah, uh, here's <laughs> here's how to get big arms, and then my arms are like very skinny, right? But, <laughs> anyways, like, uh, or I don't know, some some shit like, uh, it's like f- I think it was even like I was giving NoFap advice, but I was like literally relapsing. So, <laughs> like, why are you giving NoFap advice, right? But, anyways. Um, what I wanted to say is like all these people they were getting this information it shifted their their mindset they were like oh shit you should actually go out but instead of practicing this shit first they just adopted it and and preached it to their followers and I think this is dangerous like straight up I'm not even going to lie to you I genuinely think that this is dangerous and the reason for that is because I think it creates a culture of people that don't practice what they preach and i think that when you have a culture of people that don't practice what they preach you have a lot of misinformation so for me it's like why would i preach the carnivore diet if i've never experienced the carnivore diet do you know what i mean it's like i i only did like I don't know what you call it. I think it's like ketosis or something like that. Basically, we eat meat and fruits. That's what I've done. So I could, I could talk about that, but I can't talk about like full carnivore. So why, why would I preach people to do carnivore, to eat carnivore diet if I've never eaten it? Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> I don't understand these people, bro. So yeah, I man, I do actually like right now. It kind of seems like a little bit innocent and all that stuff because. These people are like very small creators, but I do wanna, I do wanna make this point, and I think that because uh, you you have a, I don't know, if you, maybe you're doing this as well, right? But you have a dream to to become bigger, right? You have a dream dream to become like a big creator. I think that if you're if you wanna be a big creator, you need to practice what you preach, and you just and you you just can't afford to. Just copy other people's advice. I think it's the same in, in in like business, right? You need to have a good offer in order to attract clients. And 
I also think that you need to practice what you preach to actually give people a crazy lifestyle to to actually help people. So yeah, man, if you've seen, for example, my uh, video like I'm Luke and I became an addict again, I tell you about the stories, like every single video that I've, I've made, I created a story for it. Because I, I know that the tips that I give you help because and and then i kind of teach you the lessons with the story i don't know man i think that when you just copy somebody's advice it's not it's not beneficial for you nor for your audience so yeah man i don't really think there's anything else to say if you happen to be a self-improvement coach or like a life coach whatever the fuck you want to call it then i got a free community in my description and i also got a paid product where basically I help you make two or three K, I don't know, a couple grand <laughs> with within like two three months guaranteed. So if you want to check that out, I probably got a link to that as well. If not, just join my free school community, send me a message and we figure something out.